Hello and welcome to Finextra. I'm Hannah Wallace and we're here at WSO2's conference in London. Joining me is Seishika Fernando from WSO2 and we're going to be talking about PSD2. Thank you for joining me, Seishika. Thank you. So firstly, we're near the finishing line for PSD2 compliance. How ready do you think banks are for this? Well, there are a wide spectrum of banks really um, uh, in, in different places in their compliance journey. But what we really see are two categories. The first are the ones who have already done PSG2 compliance and are now looking at the broader um, opportunities that it can get for them. The second are the ones who are still struggling to understand how to comply and are still looking for uh, a, a software vendor to get them compliant. Uh, the good news for the second category though is that with uh, some of the successes of the banks that have already become compliant there are now faster and more cost-effective methods uh, to get compliant so that's really where we see uh, the banking spectrum across the compliance journey okay and there's no doubt open API is the front of everyone's mind thanks to PST2 and open banking but how do you think banks should be thinking about building their API strategy even though people are now currently focused completely on PSD2 compliance, uh, there is now a wider strategy, there should be a wider strategy around APIs. And this strategy could bring in longer term uh, benefits for the bank because you see, APIs are about creating and nurturing ecosystems. In order for banks to be able to uh, get those or reap those benefits of the ecosystem, they now need an adaptable technology in place where they are able to onboard third parties uh, swiftly and easily, uh, provide very good strong authentication and identity management, uh, have very powerful analytics in place in order to uh, realize the benefits of this API ecosystem uh, and, and to monitor uh, how things are going. So if you have an adaptable system that can also understand how these APIs are being used uh, and how that can be further um, improved, then you are uh, obviously in a better place to reap the longer term benefits of this strategy and look beyond compliance. And the expectation for banks is to go beyond compliance and realise the digital transformation opportunities of PSD2. How do you think they should manage these expectations? So the reality is that PSD2 compliance and digital transformation is changing the product landscape of banking. Uh, what that means is that now the incumbents as well as the new entrants have the ability to create new products that can gain genuine uh, traction from customers and that, that ability can explode in the future. So the secret to creating that type of digital products uh, that, can, that can be bought in by these customers is to really be able to have an agile and adaptive technology behind you so that you can observe uh, how your products are used and, and, and viewed uh, from your customers and your third parties and you can adapt uh, your technology into providing these newer products and maintaining them uh, in a way that suits your business. And finally, how important is technology in realising the long-term opportunities of PSD2 and open banking? Technology is only valuable when it is taken together with a good strategy. And conversely though, a great strategy can be broken if you're not using the right technology. So for you to have success in your PSD2 strategy as well as your digital transformation strategy is to ensure that you have three key components or technology attributes that can get you to that goal. The first is strong security and identity management. Banking, this is an absolute essential attribute for banking. The second is about the visibility and the ability to observe and monitor how customers are using, how third parties are viewing your products and services. Without the understanding of how these products are seen beyond the bank, uh, there is really uh, going to be no success in the, the large adaptability of your products. And the third element is to have an agile and adaptive technology in order to be able to quickly uh, adapt 
to newer regulations that are coming up, newer trends that are coming up, and also to reap the benefits of um, the opportunities that this entire ecosystem promises to bring uh, for the banking um, industry. Sestika, thank you for taking the time to speak with me today. Thank you very much. It was very nice to talk to you as well. And thank you for watching.